Sarah Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life. So today I want to talk about how I um, I wanted clear envelopes, and this is going to be the worst video ever because everything is clear, right? Um, but I, the first thing I did was, because I want to have a place to store my um, tissue paper cutouts, and so the first thing I got was um, vellum, which is amazing. It works perfectly, but I really hate the way that it looks, and so this is my tester journal. And I decided I was going to try two other ways. Um, so first I was like, well, maybe I could um, do some hot Mod Podge on this. And so Mod Podge is not the right um, thing to use on vellum. That I dug that out of the trash to show you guys. That was not it. Um, so then I went to this one, which it's hard to see. But what this is, is a um, three mil self laminating piece. So what happened was, and I took them out to show you, and I'll show you in a minute, um, but it's functionally laminate that sticks to itself, right? And I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. It's gonna stick to itself, and then I can put a piece, so I have it face side in, face side in, and then I can put a piece on the outside and it will stick to the paper, and this will be the perfect thing, except for it doesn't stick to the paper, it just peels off the paper. So on these sides, what I used was strapping tape, and I love how clear the strapping tape is. This kind of wiggly thing is from the um, laminator sheet as opposed to being from the strapping tape. Now, um, and this is strapping tape you use for packaging. I'm an Etsy seller, so I have strapping tape around. I am going to be using this. Now, if you're making a journal that you want to last until the next hundred years, I wouldn't use strapping tape because I believe it's gonna discolor the way that tape does in different things. But the thing for me is I like the look of that, so it's not a problem for me. So last but not least, I decided that, well, almost last but not least, um, I decided that I was gonna try these envelopes I have that I got when my kids were in school. They were like 30 cents at um, Office Depot. And I was so surprised how clear they are. Now, if I was not to use the back, it would be even, it would be as clear as this. And you can actually see right through that. And then for my um, tissue paper, it was amazing because you can just pull up this side and slide it right in, I thought that was great. Now for this little one, right, if we pull the sides over and close it down, it becomes really hard to scoosh anything in. So so this, this solution would not be for my tissue paper. Now if you wanna put a tag in there, um, that goes in perfectly. So something hard, I have some washi tape sitting here. Um, if you have your washi tapes like this and you wanna stick those in there, that works great. So that is a, this little pocket is a solution for hard things. And then this plastic pocket is a solution for soft things. But I would say that the one thing I learned was that I would never have it be on the outside, right? Because if I'm carrying my book around, this could slide out. Next time, and I'll show you now, next time I am going to be doing it in my real book, which I don't want to mess up, obviously. So we'll do this side first, and I'll show you what I meant by um, doing the, the two-sided self-laminating sheets. Okay, so you'll fold them this way, so they go onto each other, and then this is the smooth side. Then you take the package, the, the backing off, you stick it down, and then you take this backing off, and then you stick it down and you line it up right at the top and it makes an envelope, which is really, really cool. It, I, I love that. I saw it on a different video. I'll put a link to that so that you guys could see. What the girl was doing was she was actually making two of these with a wide piece, with these between a wide piece and making them for traveler's journals. But in my quest for perfectly clear um, envelope or pockets, I was like, oh my gosh, that's it. And so I will for sure be doing this. And the reason why I wanted to 
to have clear is that I made such pretty pages. I don't want to mess with them. I don't want to lose all the beautiful color. I mean, I know I'll be sticking stuff in front of them, but I don't want it to be totally gone. And then last but not least, I'm going to do this envelope, which I cut down, and now I'll round these corners, okay, so that I don't poke myself. But another thing that I really found out was on, on the ones that you're doing the um, tissue paper into, it's really nice to have, to leave this back up here because it kind of gives it a runway to slide into that pocket rather than having a lip down here where the, the two pockets go, like kind of meet. This way you can really slide that tissue paper down in. Now the very last thing that I was gonna do, and I think I have it right here, was I was like, oh my gosh, if self-adhering laminate is gonna be um, kind of dorky, like I messed up one really, really bad. Um, it's like, I was thinking I could stick it to itself, but it's really hard to get to stick to itself. It just crinkles up into a re really little ball. But I was like, oh my gosh, then this is perfect. I have regular laminate paper. I just won't run it through the laminator and then I'll be able to use my tissue paper in there. But watch this, it's kind of staticky and I thought, oh my gosh, staticky is perfect. But it's almost impossible to physically get tissue paper into there. So uh, real laminate paper doesn't work at all. I mean, you could cut it up and, and so the problem is if you put it out this way, because it's staticky, I just had it on my, my desk for a little bit and there's little goobers sticking to it everywhere. So I think real laminator paper is out. And then one, one thing I am gonna do, I think going forward is a lot of times instead of, um, making my page and then making the um, thing to stick on it, the pocket to stick on it, what I'll do is I'll take like a really cool piece of paper like this, of course I have to cover up the goober there, but I'll take a really cool piece of paper like this, do my envelope on this so if I mess it up, I don't ruin a book because I'm funny if I mess up my book then I tend to be like, oh, then I have to start a new one. So that's my tips on how to make super clear pockets for your, and mine's for an ephemera folio. I know that some of you might be making different projects. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.